Well, I am joined with Jerry Balcar of Taco Bell, which has been shortlisted for our horror category at Bunting for Shorts 2021. How are you, Jerry? Hi, thank you for having me. I'm perfect. How good. are you? Yeah, really good. Thank you. Glad to have you with us. Um, perhaps uh, the audience won't know much about you. So would you like to introduce yourself and maybe talk about how you got into filmmaking? Yeah, so uh, I started to do filmmaking or like I started my first film class was uh, my junior year in high school. And, you know, I was in the IB program, which, you know, for people who know it is quite a tough curriculum. And I just wanted a, you know, a chill class that, you know, I just thought will be kind of fun. So I was like, hey, you know, I'll just take filmmaking. And it turned out to be a passion, you know, made a couple of short films in high school and eventually picked it as my major in university. Oh, wow. I think that's always the thing when you hear about people taking film for A-level here or uh, the IV over there. Um, yeah. It's just like, oh, it's the easy degree. It, I'll yeah, get it through is. it really quickly. It's really easy. But it really isn't. It takes so much yeah, that, that, that's that's what I That's what I learned that, you know, you can't just, you know, take a phone and point it at something and think that magic will happen. You have to take great care, you know, with with so many details and, you know, so many things go wrong all the time. Yeah, exactly. uh, <laughs> it, it, it's way tougher than, you know, people think it is. And, you know, I'm just I'm just happy to being to being, you know, enjoying it. You know, there's uh, genres that I really enjoy. You know, there's like ideas just that pop into my head. And that's the you know, that's the beauty of filmmaking. Once you have an idea, you just can go out and shoot it. Definitely. And it gives you that freedom because obviously you're you're a director, you're a writer, you're yeah. cinematographer you do it all basically <laughs> you can just say I want to do this and go for it so you're not really I suppose restricted by anything apart from obviously corona and all I of think, that I think that's still you know the good part of you know right now I'm still a young filmmaker at university so you know I'm not restricted by any role that I would be perhaps if you know once I I hopefully get into the industry one day uh, you know, I'm not so sure which role that would be, but right now I can, you know, still focus on everything. I can focus on, you know, cinematography and, you know, improve in that direction, you know, be a director, organize stuff, be a producer, mm. uh, focus on editing. And I think, you know, all these, uh, knowing all these different stages then know, uh, helps you, you know, understand what comes next or what comes before. So let's say once I get, you know, perhaps hopefully one day hired maybe like as an editor I know what it takes to be like as a director I I can you know imagine what that could be uh it just helps me you know link the whole process together rather than you know having it split into many steps definitely I think because obviously at uni as you said and then you get all of the different perspectives out of those though is there any that you've particularly enjoyed that you maybe want to take a little bit further um you know I really just like uh directing uh, but especially now, you know, at a younger age, it's hard to find actors. It's hard to find, you know, a cameraman. It's hard to find editors. So that's why I, you know, when I have an idea, I, I have ideas for, you know, shots. I have ideas of how to cut it. So that's why it's often hard even to trust someone. I mean, I have a couple of people, you know, my friend, Anthony Romano, he's probably, you know, up there, you know, as my number one guy, uh, <laughs> Uh, we made a couple of films together but other than that you know you can't trust too many or like at this stage I don't want I can't even trust that many people to uh, bring the vision that I imagined you know once you get into the professional industry that's the beauty of it like people can make whatever is in the you know mind of the writer of the director they're just, they're just you know all on one team and that's why they're hired for all these jobs. You know, it's not, they're not doing what they want. They just do what the director, the, the boss wants to see essentially. Yeah. So then you get to say, get me so-and-so who can, who yeah, can do exactly I, this for me. And you'll have I a nice team just to go for it. I suppose. That's I'll say, I'll, I'll I'll say I, I'm not really enjoying, you know, the writing phases. I, I say like, you know, I have a couple of interesting ideas, but still, you know, the ideas part is probably my least favorite. I once, suppose it's you know, probably one of the hardest parts as well, because once you've got is, an idea, yeah. finding interesting shots, finding the ideas of how to shoot it is probably a little bit easier. But it take is, that, like is. off the films that you've sent to us, so uh, Family Business and Taco Bell, they've got some really clever, unique ideas in. So there's clearly a, there's clearly a skill somewhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, for uh, so the, the, 
the two different films that I sent you were two very different approaches. You know, definitely. Taco Bell is essentially a film that I well, not essentially a film that I did make all by myself. You know, I just had an idea. Uh, it was also for an assignment that we had to do, and I had a I would say quite solid idea, and I'm also happy that you guys enjoyed it, made it a finalist. So thank you for that. We'll cool. see how it does. Uh, uh, so it was just a short idea. Uh, I was like, yeah, I can do this by myself. I can do it, let's say, in three nights, which, you know, uh, you know, I was playing two nights. It ended up being three nights, which is typical for being, you know, when, you, when you're a filmmaker. Oh, yeah, uh, it's different time. <laughs> but that was, that was a short, quick idea. I had it edited in one day, essentially. Wow. Uh, and then on the other hand, you know, family business, that was a big crew, a big plan that I was, you know, f- doing some fight choreography stuff with, with my friends. I wrote a script over summer. Uh, I had a great guy, you know, Edwin Lamy, who helped me do a score for that film. So it's two very different approaches. You know, one was a long idea with a big crew, a lot of process. And the other one was just a quick idea. And sometimes the quick ideas, you know, when they're not too ambitious, then that's when they work at their best. Yeah, because I think with Taco Bell, it's it's a very familiar concept of, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. of a stranger's entered the house in the middle of the night, that kind of thing. Yeah. I won't give anything away. Uh, but it just has that nice twist at the end that, or towards the end, I should say, that everyone uh, probably doesn't expect because it just builds the atmosphere so well. But then I also notice in family business, you've got that kind of twist as well of something that you're sort of led down the line to think it's one thing and then obviously twisted the other way. Yeah. Is that something you intentionally write about or...? Yeah, it is intentional. And then, you know, uh, for Taco Bell, I think it may have been a bit more successful. The fact that it's very simple. It's, yeah. you know, it's very unexpected, but, you know, you're just like, oh, yeah, that's this. It makes sense. It's, you know, surprising and it works. Whereas in, you know, in family business, I was trying to be a bit more complicated and it's very hard to think of a good twist and to pull off a good twist in a way that it's, you know, that it makes sense. Yeah, I think that is definitely one of the challenges because uh, obviously family business, as you said, is a complicated one. But yeah, Taco Bell is is just it's short and simple. Um, well, not simple, but it's very clever. Um, but then obviously, when you watch back the film for a second time, I started spotting everything that you've sort of put in to sort of allude to that, which is really nice. So there's a few <laughs> just really interesting shots there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that that's what I think. You know, when you, that's the most important part of a twist. When you want to include a twist, you have to set it up. Like it can't be a twist that's like, oh, okay, this happened, but it doesn't make any sense. You know, f- for inspiration, I will say, you know, it's it's a completely different style of filmmaking. But you know, that's where the Saw franchise excels, where you know the final scene essentially of the film is where they showed, you know, a twist, you know, that makes complete sense. You know, it's been in front of you this whole time. It, it just and, makes all of the wires yeah. sort of come together. Yeah. 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 I think that's it, one of the things, things that people like about film in general is yeah. if you're watching a crime drama, you don't want it to be, Oh, they got caught because they did this straight away. You want to, you want to see all the different aspects that came into that. And I think that's one of the challenges as a filmmaker is to sort of bring those to life in a way. Um, so you were saying about the the fact that you shot and edited Taco Bell in three nights. Yeah, um, yeah. And was that all by yourself? Yeah, all by myself. I just had this idea. I, you know, even had this uh, cardboard cut out, you know, to do the lighting <laughs> in the in the first opening scene where, you know, I'm as an actor. Um it, you know, it, it took a lot of, because I wanted to have some moving camera motions as well. So that's when I was like putting up, you know, little sliders, you know, putting them at an angle. So the camera, like at least a little bit of movement. Because I think that when you have only, you know, static shots, it takes away from, you know, the the buildup, especially in, in you know, the type of film that I was trying to do here in Taco Bell. Mm. Uh, so that's why I wanted to, add a little bit of more you know dimension and you know i think i think i put it put it together in a very smart way and the fact that it was it was only me i you know i i had a creative idea in terms of how to execute it and i didn't have to explain to anyone so i could really be creative all you know 
that and I wanted exactly to exactly what you wanted for the film, I suppose, as well. Yeah. So and I also and I also wasn't afraid to, you know, risk because if I what what when you when you risk like on a set when you waste time on a set, you feel sort of bad, especially at this young age when you pull in actors or you know people you know in the crew who are just wasting time essentially you know who are just standing around like wait you know your part will come in let's say 20 minutes it turns out being two hours um you know when i when i just had this idea you know i can just you know take my time i can take an extra night i can you know watch it back if it doesn't work i can reshoot a couple scenes which i did of course you know especially you know the third night was I was finishing the last scene and I was also reshooting a couple other scenes that didn't work before. Mm. Um, so, you know, taking risks, it, it paid off. It, it was very nice. Good, I'm glad to hear. And I think when you were saying with the, with the moving shots, was that, so was that like handmade pulleys and things just to try and <laughs> obviously see uh, what's it, in the shot or? Um, uh, it, was, it was actually, um, you know, just a regular slider put on uh, two tripods and it was at an angle. Or, you know, when it was on the ground, it just, you know, I just put like a book on one side just so it moves very slowly, you know, in one direction, but uh, just so it adds a little bit of movement. I think it was creative. It was fun. It was, it took a long time to set up always just to have one shot. Uh, yeah. Uh, but I think it was. Times that probably went wrong. <laughs> yeah. 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 Especially, you know, uh, I'm shooting on the uh, Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera. And for people who know that camera, that camera doesn't have uh, autofocus. So okay. getting the <laughs> getting the focus right was was very hard. You know, it's, it's, I had to like have an external monitor, and then you had to stand. Especially also, it was it was a very dark uh, scenario. I mean, it was quite bright. You know, in real life, I put some lights. You know, to not make it grainy, but it, it was still quite dark. So I had to shoot at a higher f stop, meaning a shallower depth of field. Uh, the focus was one of the toughest parts to get. And also, uh, you know, the angle, at, you know, to make it move just right. So, so it isn't, so it is enough. So it doesn't stop also not too much. So it doesn't pass by too quick. Yeah, exactly. And I, th but I think it's definitely paid off. And when yeah, people thank you. Hopefully see the end product, uh, or, well, they will hopefully see it if you win on the evening, of course, as well. But um, I think they'll appreciate how much has actually gone into because it's only three minutes as well but three yeah, minutes yeah. for a filmmaker is obviously like days weeks months depending on what you're making um so obviously with taco bell it's a horror with family business it's action um with some of your other films that i noticed you've got crime you've got comedy um is there any sort of like genre you like the most any inspirations for each of those genres any directors that you particularly like um, for me, it's 100% going to be action. You know, that's, uh, uh, that's the one I love the most. And especially, I'm sorry, I don't know the director's name, you know, John Wick. Uh, yeah. I know he's a stuntman turned director. And uh, also, you know, films like Extraction. And among those films, you know, it's a completely different style of, uh, you know, action. But then again, Kingsman. Kingsman's These are very good. Yeah, I like yeah, that. Yeah. I, I saw that not that long ago, actually. <laughs> uh so all these these kind of films like for me especially kingsman is a higher budget uh action film and it and it has this very unique style of you know the kingsman like no one can or you know you can replicate it but it's for now you know when you see a film do this it's forever going to be the kingsman you know style of shooting one long takes uh just crazy sequences that are very creative and, you know, John Wick, on the other hand, is all, you know, practical stunts. Keanu Reeves just, you know, doing everything by himself, you know, practicing with the crew. And he's great in it. And then, you know, uh, like I mentioned before, Extraction with Chris Hemsworth, it was a very similar approach. I would say John Wick has a better story if, you know, you know, it also had more success. But, you know, action wise in Extraction, there was this amazing, seemingly one long take that was about 15 minutes. And it's, again, just about creativity, just about, you know, pushing the boundaries. Uh, I think with, with action especially, yeah. every director has their different style. Yeah. So you've got Tarantino, yeah. obviously very famous for yeah. the violent side of And then uh, Tarantino, you know, he, he, his, his style of action is just, you know, very, it's, it's very different. It's not realistic. Like, it's very grotesque. It's, it's gore. 
but in a way that you watch it and it's it's just it's fun you know it's hmm. it's you know you're watching it it's it's funny it's serious in the same time but it's it, you know you know you're watching a tarantino film and has this unique perspective like you won't see crazy fi- uh, you know stunt choreographies in a tarantino movie it's uh it's about the film but then you know when you watch a john wick film you you mostly want to see Keanu Reeves, you know, kick ass through. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so I suppose that you're you're bringing in some of those influences into your work. Um, is there any sort of particular scenes, particular things that you've done that you would say that was definitely uh, John Wick influenced, or that was definitely? Uh, yeah, in um, in in family business, we actually have like you know, our fighting isn't you know something. Uh, it's 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 one minute long. It's not anything too crazy, but we have uh, we do have one specific move that's directly taken out of, or you know, it's not an exact copy, but it's inspired by a move in John Wick Free. Oh, nice. We just wanna we just wanna have a shout out to <laughs> to Keanu Reeves and everyone that on that crew. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But I suppose even with a minute long uh, action scene, that takes a lot yeah. of choreography. It takes a lot of. Uh, it is. It is. I mean, that was stage that was really well. just one move that we just wanted to replicate. Everything else, you know, we had to fa- think of by ourselves, you know, to make it fit with the with the surrounding. And in, with family business, it was also hard because we picked this interesting lighting scenario that also created a lot of complications because they're like, there's free light sources and all the characters in the middle. And, you know, the light sources are very low, you know, with the car and two fires uh, that it's, it's very hard to maneuver with the camera. There is, you have to pick your spots carefully. So it was, it was kind of hard. We had to adapt on set and yeah, it was. But I think you definitely, especially in uh, family business, you get the atmosphere of the tense situation. Um, just yeah, through the sort of firelight and stuff but then obviously in taco bell you've used the atmosphere just through the darkness and the and the music mm-hmm. as well is something uh that's really impressive in that as well um do you write your own music or do you have a guy that does it um like i mentioned before you know edwin lamy he's a guy at my university he's you know he was perfect he wrote for me uh you know we discussed many times for family business and he had a great job with that you know i'm i'm not a music guy i can like <laughs> say this is what I'm aiming for, but I, I can't, you know, compose my own music. I can, I used to play guitar like many years ago, but I wasn't even that good. So, uh, I'm, I'm not, a music you guy. might have, you might have your own little guitar riff uh, in a film one day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope not because that scene probably wouldn't be too good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, awesome. So thinking then about the future, is there anything that you're working on currently or is there any sort of plans you've got for films coming up? Yeah, uh, one film is actually already shot and I'm currently editing it. It's a very ambitious film, I will say. So when I got home to Czech Republic, I this was actually a couple of months, it was like a month ago. And I just, you know, posted a story on my Instagram, like, does anyone want to, uh, you know, shoot a film? I have this short idea and... Uh, two of my friends you know they texted me and you know we shot something that was done in three hours which wow filmmakers you know it's a very short film it's you know one and a half minutes long let's say uh so it's very short uh the narrative part isn't really the focus at all uh it's a very it's it's quite a cgi heavy film okay so yeah i wanted to i wanted to get into cgi a bit more so I'll, I'll just leave it at that. You know, I'll work on that possibly on, you know, the entire summer. Uh, so that's going to be coming. And I'm currently finishing up a script that I'll hopefully shoot in the next couple of weeks. Wow. When I get back to America. Plenty going on then. And it sounds yeah, really yeah, interesting yeah. So- because CGI, again, just to add to that skill set that you have so that when you obviously you get to be the big director, as you, as you hope, uh it's just all the different skills coming in again nice um so for you then what would you say would be your ultimate filmmaking goal like where where would you like to see yourself in say 10 years time i know you said a director but is there anyone you'd like to work with is there anything in particular that you've got an idea for but you want to wait until it's till it's time uh you know 
there isn't really anyone you know i have a lot of you know i'm i'm a big fan of marvel movies i'm you know you know keanu reeves and all these other uh films are up there but it's you know i'm going to be realistic with myself with myself and 10 years probably in the industry making you know be in a couple of you know let's say uh tv shows maybe you know in a film and you know in in the film industry it's about context so just try to get it to know as many people as possible prove that you know i'm capable of making quality films and you know i will say in let's say 20 years time i want to be a if if i make a film like let's say john wick and it has somewhat success like that you know that that would be like my ultimate goal amazing um so then just to sort of finish off then um where can the people watching this see what you've made so far is it available online where can they find out more about what you've got coming up uh you know uh you can find it on my youtube channel cb films uh i have you know all the short films that i have made so far and you know i also have an instagram cb films I don't usually I just post the stories there but you know since you mentioned it I might you know hint a couple of future projects here and there uh just to get you know more excitement and you know tease some stuff you know uh right now like I said two films that are 100% hopefully coming uh by summer maybe more uh and we'll see how it goes from there sounds good thank you ever so much for your time uh, thank you so much and we'll end it there then so thank you very much. Thank you.